Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams. And with Indian Wells done and dusted, we have Miami just around the corner. And we've got some big names playing in this event. But we've got some big names that have pulled out over the last week and over the last couple of weeks. Let's go have a look at the withdrawal list, starting with the women. So let's have a look at the WTA withdrawal list. Now, the draw has already been given out for the ladies. So at this stage, these are the players that are not in the draw and not playing, confirmed. Starting with Ash Barty, the defending champion. She has pulled out, saying that her body is not quite right to get back on tour after the massive month she had in January. January at the Australian Open. Christian's out. Grucheva. Krejcikova's out. Now, she pulled out of Indian Wells as well at the very last minute. So, she's been out for the last couple of weeks. And don't forget, she's a very good doubles player too. So, she's out of the scene altogether at the moment. Osorio's out. Pavlyuchenkov is still out with that knee problem. Pedersen and Pekovic are all missing from the draw at this stage. Let's go have a look at the men's withdrawals because there are so many big champions that are not playing this event. Novak Djokovic has pulled out. He's been forced to withdraw because he can't actually get into America to play in Miami, even though he would like to. Duckworth's also out. Roger Federer has been out. We all knew that a few months ago. Krajinovic is also out. Molkan is out. Rafa Nadal is out. Now, we only knew that about a week ago that he's going to pull out of Miami. And now that he's injured after Indian Wells, so it makes even more sense that he's not playing. Nishikori is also out. And Dominic team pulled out saying that he is not quite ready to come back. And he wants to come back on the clay courts in a few weeks' time. So some massive names there and a lot of Grand Slam champions that will not be playing in Miami this year. So there you have it. Massive withdrawals for both the men and the women. We've got the defending champion for the women. We've got the number one, number two, number three. I mean, there's so many Grand Slam champions for the men that are not playing. And it's going to make the tournaments really interesting. Now, the women's side of the, the event, we're missing a couple of big names, but they're still the big names. You know, Sviontek and Sakari and all those players that played well last week. But on the men's side, the top of the tree didn't play too well. Besides Rublev making the semis, Medvedev, Zverev, City Pass, they didn't play too well over that week. So it's going to make for a very interesting tournament. Maybe a random champion like we had last year in Hubie Hercatch. So let me know down in the comments below, who are you going to miss most? at Miami this year. I'm sure a lot of Rafa fans are going to miss him and I'm sure a lot of Djokovic fans are going to miss him despite the fact that he probably could play if he could just get into the country. But let me know down in the comments below, who are you going to miss the most at the Miami Open this year?